Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss a new topic, Chapter 6 Circular Motions. Exercise 1 Earth is rotating about its exit. What is it? Angular speed meaning is omega in the radian per second. So if this is the Earth, and Earth, if let's say, turn in one round, do you know what is the period for turning one round? Yes, is it actually equals to one day? Okay, so one day is actually equals to twenty-four hours times sixty minute times sixty second. So one day we have eighty-six thousand four hundred second. But the question asks us to find the angular speed. Angular speed is equals to theta over t and we know that for one revolution one turn is equal to 2 pi okay so 2 pi over 86,400 second therefore we will get 7.3 times 10 to the power of negative 5 radian per second okay next we go to questions number 2 a car travels around a circular path. So they give you the radius is equal to 5 meter at the rate of 60 revolutions per minute. Meaning that 1 minute it makes 60, 60 revolution. Okay, 60 round. Okay, find its angular speed in the radian per second. So actually here 60 revolutions per minute already give us the angular velocity where we can write it as angular speed equals to change of theta over time taken where the theta is equal to 60 revolution so one revolution is equal to 2 pi therefore you must times 2 pi yeah? because one revolution one complete revolution is equal to 2 pi okay so 60 revolution is equal to 120 pi per 1 minute so we need to convert it into second meaning that we need to change it into 60 second so 60 and 60 we can cancel off so therefore our answer is equal to 2 pi radian per second next find is linear speed around the circle linear speed meaning that is equal to Tangential velocity, yes. Okay, it's equal to tangential velocity. So our V, because we, we have uh, R and we have omega, so we can use V equals to R omega, where R equals to 5 meter, and then your angular speed is equal to 2 pi. Okay, so you can write it as 10 pi, or we can change it into 31.42 meter per second. Question number 3. An object undergoes circular motion with the uniform angular speed. This is 100 RPM. RPM meaning is equal to revolution per minutes. So this is the meaning of RPM. So the first one, they ask us to find the period. Okay, so the period, because we already have uh, this is like omega, okay, the angular velocity. So we can first find the omega because we know that omega equals to 2 pi over t. Okay, so 2 pi over t equals to 100 revolution. So 1 revolution is equals to 2 pi. And then per minute, so we divide by 60 second. Okay, so now we want to find the uh, the period so 2 pi and 2 pi we can cancel off so therefore our period is equal to 60 over 100 
or we can write as 0 0.6 second next we go to questions 3b find the frequency so the frequency here is equals to f equals to 1 over t okay so f equals to 1 over t 1 over 0 0.6 so the answer we will get 1.67 hertz or you can write it as per second okay next we go to questions number four questions number four is a particle move in a semi-circular so this is only semi-circular path a to b with the radius of 5 meter with the constant speed of 11 okay calculate the time taken the average velocity and also the average accelerations to travel from A to B. Okay, so let us recall back what are the informations that we have. So now we have the radius 5 meter and we have the linear velocity 11. What else we have? Okay, and uh, we know that this the, the angle theta here is only equal to pi eh, because it's only semi circular, uh, semi circle. Okay, so these are the informations we have. So the first one, we want to find the time taken. Okay, so we want to find time taken since we have uh, V, okay, uh, we have R and theta. We can find the, uh, the displacement first. So S equals to R theta, where R equals to 5, theta is equals to pi. So we have 15.71 meter. Next, we can use a V equals to S over T, where S equals to 15.71, and T is the value that we want to find. The linear velocity is equal to uh, 11. Okay, so finally, T, the time taken, is equal to 1.43 seconds. Next, we are going to find the average velocity. So V average is equals to V average is equals to change change of the displacement over time. So the displacement we will take the shortest distance where is from A to B the shortest distance is 5 plus 5. Okay, so 5 plus 5 is equals to 10. Time taken is 1.43. So finally, we will get 6.99 meter per second and the answer is positive meaning that the direction is to the right. Next, A acceleration average is equal to change of the velocity over change of the time taken. So V final, when you reach point B, V final is going downward. Okay, so we will take V final minus V initial over time taken. Okay, so V final here is equal to downward, so it's equal to negative 11 minus initial velocity is going upward, so it's positive 11 over time taken 1.43. So finally, we will get a negative 15.38 meter per second squared. Okay, so negative here shows that the direction is acting downward okay so next we will go to questions number five the radius of the mercury circular orbits around the sun so they give you the radius and the mercury travel around this orbit so they give you the period 88 days calculate the linear speed of the mercury so they give you the period is 88 days where 88 days we need to change it into second okay so 88 days times 24 hours times 60 minutes times 60 second so therefore we will get 7.6 times 10 to the power of 6 second this is the period but the question asks us to find the linear speed Linear speed equation is V equals to R omega. Okay, so we have the value of uh, the radius, okay, where the radius is given 
7, 9 times 10 to the power of 7. Okay, but here, if you refer here, here is kilometer. Okay, we don't want kilo, we want meter. So you must times 10 to the power of 3, convert it become meter. Okay, omega we don't have, but we know that omega is equal to 2 pi over t. Okay, so you can substitute 2 pi over t, 7.6 times 10 to the power of 6. Okay, you substitute into the the equations 2 pi over 7.6 times 10 to the power of 6 okay so if you press calculator we will get 4.79 times 10 to the power of 4 meter per second okay so that's all for today hope you enjoy my video thank you see you on next video